Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at how to create a block in AutoCAD. Here I am in the model space of a standard AutoCAD drawing. It's called Drawing1.dwg, and I like to create a block out of this. A block is when you take a whole bunch of objects and group them together into a single object so you can uh, basically work and make multiple copies and change all of them at one time. If I go to the Insert tab of the ribbon, under Block Definition, I can create a block by choosing Create Block. It'll bring up the Block Definition dialog box and it'll ask you to give it a name. You have an area for base point, <clears throat> an area for the objects, an area for the behavior, settings, and description. So the first thing you'll want to do is pick the base point and you'll pick something logical like for example here. In the objects you can select the objects that you want to use as part of the block definition. Hit enter when you're finished. <clears throat> the behavior if you want to make it annotative so that it agrees with the scale of the viewport and an annotation scale you can put a check mark here. Scale uniformly is checked by default so that if somebody takes the object and scales it up and down with the scale command, it will increase proportionally or decrease proportionally. If you are the CAD manager building this file, <clears throat> this block, and you want to not allow anybody to explode it, then don't check this. If you put a check mark here, then whoever is working with the block can actually explode the block. Under the objects, also, there is retain, convert to block, and delete. The default is convert to block. It takes all those individual objects, turns it into a block, and you're good. Some people like to retain the information as individual information, and some people like to just delete it. <clears throat> the settings, you can specify the um, units. You can also specify a hyperlink if you need to. So for example, we can say go to http trucks and then hit OK. And then you can put a description here is toy truck for use in a CAD file. Hit OK and it automatically makes the block for you. It was a very very slight blink if you didn't see it. If it's a block you can select it and it'll grab everything and it'll show that insertion point. If I copy it multiple times for use. If I decide I need to modify it, I can double click that block. <clears throat> It'll go into the edit block definition dialog box, click OK, and it opens up into the block editor. Everything is a gray background and you can make adjustments. For example, maybe we need to show that it has knobby tires Maybe we need a handle here. Maybe we need a pipe here. And maybe we need some bumpers over here and over here. So when you're finished making the modification, you can close the block editor. It will figure out whether you've made changes and whether you need to save them or not. So just click Save. Now it's updated and all the other blocks have been updated as well. And that's it. That's a quick tutorial on how to create a basic block in AutoCAD 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.